She is going to be a flower girl in a wedding today and so we're just going to show the hairstyle that she's going to be wearing. I'm going to be making some curls first and before I do that I am going to be adding some heat protectant. I'm going to be using our curling wand to make these curls and I'm using the smallest attachment we have. If you want a more detailed video showing how to do this, I'll have one linked below. All right, I went ahead and curled her entire head and then I'm just going to spray with some hairspray so that those will stay locked in. We're going to be doing a side swept style. I'm going to leave out just a small section of hair here in the front and then the rest of this is going to go over to the side. And then we're going to be making a braid here on the top of her head. I'm going to leave this front section of hair out I'm going to be making a lace French braid with this small section here on top and I'm bringing these strands in pretty loosely. I'm keeping them loose and then I'm only going to be bringing in hair from the front. So I'm going to stop bringing in pieces about right here and then I'm just going to finish it with a regular braid. Before I do that, I'm just going to gently pull on these strands and stretch it out a little bit more because I want this braid more chunky looking and not super perfect. And then I'm just going to go ahead and braid this down almost to the very end. Okay, I'm not going to tie this braid off yet. I'm going to again sweep this hair over to the side and get it arranged exactly how I want it. And then I'm going to bring this braid underneath this hair and secure it just underneath there with another piece of hair and an elastic. If you would rather use a bobby pin, you can do that. But this is kind of going to be like a ponytail holder. It's going to hold all of this hair in place. So you need it kind of tight just so that this hair doesn't slip out. So I'm just combining that braid with a small section of hair that's kind of right here in the front on the bottom. And I'm going to tie that right up next to her head. All right, so here's what it looks like at this point. Before you go on, if you want to pull out some of these curls and fix them, you just want it arranged how you think it's going to look good. Now with this hair in the front, you may want to add some teasing if you want it more puffy, or you can smooth it down. Just get it looking however you want it. And then I'm just going to take ours and loosely twist it so that it still has a bit of curl there and then I'm going to pull it through this braid and I'm doing it about level with her ear. So I'm just going to reach in here and pull one of those strands of the braid out a little bit and then stick my fingers through and grab that hair and pull it. So before you do this next part, make sure the front looks how you want it to look. Now I'm going to take this hair that I brought through and split it into three strands and make another braid. So again, I'm not making this braid perfect looking. I want it more loose. And as I'm going down, I'm actually going to stretch out the strands on this one. We're going to be rolling this up into a flower, so it honestly doesn't matter too much how it looks. You just want a fluffy looking braid that's going to make a pretty flower. I just tied that off with a tiny clear elastic and then I'm going to roll this up into a flower. Here's the finished style. See you next Wednesday.